work primarily with high school students and and uh, university students. Every year we have a new cohort. It's a think about it as a year long fellowship with those three phases. So we work with young people that are from 17 to like 24. Um, and like Shana said, uh, the first phase is training, intense training to meditation. Uh, the second phase is the travel. We've gone to South Africa, we've gone to Burma, we've gone to Nicaragua to study peace and nonviolence in other cultures. And then we would come back through the storytelling and the documentary films that we produce. We share that back into the communities of Chicago. So uh, the peace builders are African American and Latino from the west side, from the south side, and our, our goal is to increase peace in Chicago neighborhoods, particularly the, those uh, highly affected by high levels of violence. So when we come back from South Africa, from Burma, we have a film, we have the peace builders that are eager to share their stories and kind of help model peaceful behaviors in schools and communities. Um, for the nonverbal communication piece, uh, we teach, we know that young people learn by looking at what adults do, right? They look and see what, you know, and they model what they see. Um, and so with our exercises, uh, all of our exercises are nonverbal. So there's no talking. Now, anyone want to take a guess at why we do that? Why we have no talking during exercises? Yes. Well, on the level to learn the body language, speak volume. Exactly, right? We speak more through our body language than our words will ever do, right? So uh, that's part of it, nonverbal communication. That's how we build curiosity. That's how we have young people think before they talk, right? A lot of beefs, a lot of conflicts stem from, well, so, somebody disrespected me. Somebody said something I didn't like, right? So getting them to think. Film. So they, they come with us on these international trips and they document the, the, the transformational experience that our young people go through while going to South Africa, while going to Nicaragua, how these countries have overcome injustices, literally, but through nonviolent means. You know, how do you overthrow systems of oppression peacefully, nonviolently? You know, if you're about justice, we, we want to break those you know, things down. So um, the documentary film is our anchor. When we go into the schools, we show the film and then we engage in discussion. Wait a minute, there's other people that have overcome systems of racism without having to shout or scream, right? How, how do you do that? Peace builders are indigenous to the communities that they're trying to help. Oh wow, Shana went to South Africa, she's from the south side of Chicago. And she, she's been to Soweto and she's talked to activists who, who are not down with racism, that really gets kids excited and, and it helps us build curiosity amongst them. On the phrase Ubuntu, which means I am who I am because of who we all are, we like to express community and also teach them uh, solidarity. And the way we teach diversity is to get them to think not only what's happening on the other side of Cermak, right, but what's going on across the city and connect that to what's happening in, in the world, right? So we teach diversity, we look at other cultures, we come back and say, how does this connect back to Chicago? You know, how can we, how can we promote diversity in our communities? And it's possible. The reason we do these multiple workshops with students is so that we don't just come in once, show our film, and then head out, um, but to really dive deep into what this means in today's world. Uh, one, one of the things that we do leave behind to to the students is lessons learned that our peace builders learn abroad in other countries. Uh, and so we do that in the form of a bookmark. Uh, and in case they forget from the five sessions, they have a reminder, one to read, keep reading. Mm -hmm.